Welcome to this week's Spread the Love. This week we have a special guest. This <laughs> is my sister, Pam. Pam, how you doing? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Um, I'm super as always, you know. We're, we're sharing our love for our scripts, and this week we are talking about one of our brand new scripts. It's called Beauty and the Bee. I wrote it. Isn't that a great? Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> I know. And uh, the reason that Pam is here with us today is that Beauty and the Bee is all about uh, sister conflicts. And the two sisters in Beauty and the Bee, Cosette and Catherine, are teenagers. And they are very much uh, at opposite ends of the spectrum. Catherine is the older sister, and she is a uh, she's the beauty. Uh, she is a cheerleader, and Cosette is the um, geek, the nerd, the homeschooled spelling bee champion. And what happens is their worlds collide when Cosette decides that she wants to go to high school. She wants to be normal, and Catherine knows that Cosette is anything but normal. Now, Pam, would you say that we are uh, we're pretty good friends right now? Very good. In our in our late thirties. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, did we get along in high school? No, not at all. Even a little bit? Not so much. No, not so much. Uh, if you had said to me when I was 17 that uh, 20 some years later <laughs> that we would be sitting here completely mm. normal, completely having a conversation, I would have I would have laughed yeah. you and you out of the world. Absolutely. But, uh, see, it can happen. See, if you're in high school and you're not getting along with your sister, things can change. Okay. Uh, Craig, what do you love about Beauty and the Beast? Well, I love in the theater how we're able to theatricalize abstract com uh, concepts. And in Beauty and the Bee, the two sisters' heads are, are so full and so filled with conflict that their heads are buzzing. And Lindsay personifies the buzzing as living, breathing, speaking bees. Life-sized. Life-sized bees who actually talk to Catherine and Cosette through their trouble. It's great theater, great characters, and it's great for student performers. Lindsay, what do you love about Beauty and the Bee? Well, Beauty and the Bee has been a long journey for me. It started out as a uh, short 10-minute play uh, with just the uh, the uh, couple of characters that actually won a competition, and I was so happy about it. I tried to turn it into a full length. Craig, did that succeed as a full length? Your high school relationship with your sister was stronger. <laughs> ah, uh, it did not happen as a full length. However, it is a smashing one-act play. I'm so happy with this play, and I'm, I'm so in love with it. And aside from the bees, the life-size talking bees, which I think are fantastic, uh, the characters of Cosette and Catherine, and they also have a brother named Julian, the three siblings are, uh, they're really human, and they're really, they're so three-dimensional, and that to me is the most amazing thing about a play, when you can take people who exist merely on the page and make them lifelike. Um, I, I think that these three people exist somewhere, and I love that, and I love that I'm able to present that in a play, and I love seeing them come to life, and that's the most amazing thing to me, to write life-sized life and lifelike and three-dimensional characters. Uh, so that's it for uh, Spread the Love. Uh, uh, Pam, you're behind the camera. Say hello. Hello. You, she can't see you. She's <laughs> kidding, but she, you can't see her. Uh, that's it. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz.